So you're so, like a brand new guy. Uh, more like a Robocop, yeah. <laughs> With a uh, lot of parts in me, metal parts. Marcin Samic is part man, part robot, finally pain-free, thanks to the gift of modern medicine. It seems like you're really happy with the way that things turned out. It's so much pain to have it. Before the operation, when you have it, you're basically in constant pain. And the pain is constant. You can't really walk a lot. You can't really lift your leg a more than maybe a couple of inches off the ground. Marcin is thought to be the first patient in the tri-state area and perhaps the country to undergo a total hip replacement using augmented reality. Yes, the same kind of augmented reality that you or your kids might use, like the Oculus. Only instead of games, now it's being used to help world-class surgeons like Dr. Brett Hayden. Dr. Brett Hayden is an orthopedic surgeon at Mount Sinai School of Medicine. Today he's working on a hip replacement surgery, a procedure that requires the utmost precision because dislocation of the joint is incredibly common. The dislocation occurs when the bone impinges on the bone or soft tissue impingement occurs where the, the femoral head will actually come out of the socket in either in multiple different directions. Uh, obviously that's less than ideal. That usually requires the patients to go to the emergency room and get admitted to the hospital uh, in order to place it back. And Marcin was considered high risk of dislocation because he suffers from osteonecrosis. This patient had osteonecrosis or advanced um, collapsed osteonecrosis, avascular necrosis, where his femoral head actually collapsed on itself because of diseased bone. And he had a hip replacement on uh, his other side a few years ago um, elsewhere. And he initially did, did fine, but unfortunately he had issues with recurrent dislocation. And so it was imperative that when his hip was revised, the procedure work. Enter AR. When we place the holographic lenses on, we're able to see a hologram of the CT scan of the preoperative plan of the patient's anatomy, where our implants should be placed. And at the same time, we can look at the patient's anatomy during surgery. The lens is a Microsoft holographic lens. Multiple CAT and CT scans are taken before surgery to document every conceivable measurement. Only then can the doctor use those numbers to create the hologram. The augmented reality allows us to, during surgery, overlay the CT scan, the preoperative CT-based plan, on the patient's anatomy. So we can see both the patient's anatomy and the holographic plan 3D at the same time. So we can compare what their anatomy looks like based on the CT as well and where the components should go. If it sounds cool, it's because it is. It's very cool, it's certainly promising. It could be a game changer. Um, it's very early in the process. So I think, you know, this is science and we have to evaluate the data, the patient outcomes, the radiographic outcomes. And certainly the goal here is to minimize complications, particularly malpositioned implants, which would lead to dislocations or other complications. Most importantly, it seems to have worked, giving Marcin a chance at a pain-free future in which he has total use of his hip. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.